What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Of all the videos people have requested I make, nothing else has come close to the number of requests I've got to make a tutorial on how to use Zoom software. So today, let me walk you through just that. When you first open Zoom software, you'll be taken to the Quick Play page. This shows you your pinned content, new additions to your content libraries, and your recent history. The first thing you'll want to do is go up to Settings and configure your library directories. This just tells Zoom software where to look for your music, photos, and videos. You can click Manage to add a directory, or select a directory and hit Remove to, well, remove it. OK saves your changes. Once that's done, I recommend heading over to Display and selecting a background. This is just an aesthetic change, but it adds a touch of personalization to the experience. Also, make sure the screen graphics slider is set all the way to the right to Premium. If you rip CDs, I'd suggest changing the rip settings to MP3 format and the quality slider all the way over to Best Quality. If you move the screen graphics slider at all, you'll get this little warning here. Just hit OK and continue. Next up is this smart DJ feature. Originally, this was sort of like shuffling an artist in Spotify. It would group songs similar to the artist you chose and then play them in a randomized playlist. The background is supposed to show a little picture of whatever artist you've picked, but since Microsoft killed their servers for their music service, this has stopped working. Next, we'll move on to the collection page. The collection page has four sections. Each of those sections has its own unique subsection tabs over here on the right. The music section, for instance, has artists, genres, albums, songs, and playlists. I usually just leave this on artists since I still get my albums down the middle flanked by artists and songs on each side. To play something, hover over it and click the play button or just double click it. Down at the bottom middle, you can see what's playing, skim through it, like or dislike it, and over to the right, you've got your standard controls for shuffle, repeat, play, pause, fast forward, rewind, etc. Clicking the little moving bars on the right, or the album art here, takes you to the Now Playing screen. Again, a picture of the artist was supposed to go in the background, with information about the album that's playing sliding over it, as you can see in this pic here that I snagged from Google Images. It did look really nice, but again, the servers were taken down, so that no longer works. Your now playing album here is over on the left, and the play cue is on the right, and the rest should be pretty self-explanatory. In the playlist tab, you can make a new playlist by, you guessed it, clicking the new playlist button and giving it a name. Now see how this little icon here at the bottom turned dark? That playlist we just created is now the default playlist. Any media we drag to this icon will be added sequentially to whatever the default playlist is, and the default playlist defaults to the newest playlist. You can change a default playlist by hovering over the icon and selecting a different playlist, but for now, let's just drag some music down to that icon. Back in the playlist section, just drag songs around to rearrange them, and double-click something to start playing it. On to the Videos tab. Playing a video works the same way as music, and the Now Playing screen also works about the same, but your video obviously takes center stage here. Your video will keep playing at the bottom down here, even if you leave the Now Playing screen. Next up is Podcasts. Hit add a podcast and it'll ask for a URL of our favorite podcast. What it really wants though is the RSS link. If you Google the name of any podcast you want followed by RSS, it'll usually come up in the first few results and the page will look kind of basic like it does here. Just copy that RSS link and paste it into Zune software and click subscribe. Give it a sec and it'll get the podcast star and the list of episodes. By default, it'll keep the three newest episodes downloaded to the computer, but you can of course download any episode you want. Thankfully, this feature doesn't rely on Microsoft servers at all, so it should keep working for the foreseeable future. Now, the most important feature, syncing content to a Zoom device. 
When you plug in your Zoom device, this icon in the bottom left here will change to show a picture of your device. Now to add content to your Zoom, either right click whatever you want and hit sync with Zoom, or just drag it to the Zoom icon at the bottom. Playlists, pictures, videos, and podcasts are done the exact same way. Just bear in mind that if you're running Windows 10, you'll have to convert your videos to the Zoom device's format before syncing them because Windows 10 isn't compatible with the Zoom software's built-in converter. And last but not least here, this little icon next to the minimize button in the top right toggles the mini player. And using it is, again, pretty self-explanatory. So that about wraps up this tutorial. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, get subscribed, and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.